Yo. What's up? I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while since I've done a pickups video, but I have been copying. Don't worry, I have been buying here and there, just things that really matter to me. Uh, yeah, it's some big purchases, man. Like, I've spent quite a bit of money, but that's only because I've gotten rid of a lot of the shit that I don't wear. Yeah, since it's getting really cold here, I, I decided to get one bomber jacket that I can be wearing every single day, as well as some sneakers that I could be rocking. Um, maybe a little bit more high top so I can, you know, cover my ankles, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to have dusty ankles by the time it turns spring, so I need to protect the ankles. I guess this would be my December pickups since I've already done my November and October pickups. Sorry about that. But without further ado, I want to get into my pickups video because I'm very excited for my pickups. I don't think I've... Okay, you know how like when you buy shit and like a few days later you look back to it and think like, ah oh, shit, like why did I buy this and you just like want to return it or like sell it on Grail or whatever. These are one of those like few rare pickups that I've actually enjoyed copying for a long time and I'm just pretty excited with the pickup so yeah, enjoy this video. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of me showing you this but it's a pair of Issey Miyake en place. Pleats please, tailored pleats three. But this season, uh, they came up with a new uh, model, or not a model, I guess, new version of it. Um, they have a wool and silk blend. It almost feels like cashmere on your legs. I swear to God, these are like the coziest like trousers I've ever worn in my life. The material is like insane. It's got like this vintage black color to it. Um, it's a wool and silk blend, I believe. That's what they told me. And it costs a little bit more, but I think it's worth every penny. It's really good to wear during the fall and winter time of the season. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. Pause. Obviously, the fit is the same as the Taylor Pleats Please. So, I don't expect anything to be that much different, other than the fact that the fabric has improved substantially. So, um, yeah. But honestly, like, I'm always so impressed by their work because just the fact that they have a whole store dedicated to pleats is just mind blowing to me. But these are, these come in two colorways so far. I believe it's vintage black and vintage gray. Uh, obviously, they're selling out really quick. Um, I'm not sure if they'll ever be in stock by the time I finish this video. But, you know, for those who have copped, congratulations because the material here won't pill. It will always be well structured because of the pleats, right? And you won't have any creasings, wrinkles, anything like that. It always fit and look perfectly on your body, which is what I like about pleats because generally when you wear trousers, you have to get the wrinkles out or you have to iron it out. But for these trousers, it'll always look just a very clean fitting trouser, I guess. Nothing much really to note here because I've already explained a lot about pleats to you guys in my previous videos. So I'm sure you already know how it fits on my body. But these cost $100 more than the previous pleats, which is the normal one that's like super lightweight. But this has a good thickness to it. Not, not too thick, not too thin like I said. So definitely worth copying. I think this is one of my favorite pair of trousers right now that I own. And I'll be getting a lot of wear out of these. So, the next pickup is a pair of 1985 Jordan 1 Chicago's. I know I've been saying that I'm gonna be wearing just white sneakers and neutral tone colorways, um, but I couldn't pass on these because, just because of the history behind it, it's the one that started it all, right? Um, I don't know if a lot, of, a lot of you guys know, but basically, I believe that when Michael Jordan was playing basketball, um, he wanted to feel more universal to the ground. So the feet had to be more, I guess, in tune with the hardwood. So they made a Jordan 1 version of it. And I think the very first Jordan 1 that came out in 1985 was the band Jordan 1s. They're called the band because the NBA association charged him $5,000 every time he wore those shoes to the game. 
and basically he was breaking the uniform code. You're not supposed to wear whatever sneakers you want like today. Obviously Michael Jordan didn't give a fuck, so he was like, you know what, I'll just pay you $5,000 and I'll just play with these on, so yeah, I guess play with his these on, right? I actually didn't buy this. I traded them for my triple black off-white Prestos, and I think that's uh, I think that's one of the best trades that I've ever done. Um, I wasn't feeling the Prestos at all, and I've only wore them like five times, and they're mostly to the gym. And yeah, honestly, I'm so happy with these, like the cream soles and the greasings and little chipping on the paint and stuff like that. It just gives so much character and like, I think it's like the Grail sneaker and everyone fantasize about the Jordan 1 1985s because this is the perfect Jordans, I think. I've owned a pair of 94s, the 2015s, um, I've owned a pair of 01 breads and granted, they're great, great quality, the leather is amazing, but it just does not compare to the 1985 leather. Um, the leather they made on this is just so supple and very, very just broken in and well treated, I guess. And they really sourced their materials right and really focused on the quality over quantity, right? So for sizing, I really suggest you guys should go, um, I think you should go half size up in these just because of the leather that's a little bit different from the leather today, but, um, I mean, if you guys want, you guys definitely could go true to size, I guess, if you guys want that snug fit and you don't want too much creasings on your toe box. But size 10 worked perfectly for me. I put a separate insole in it because the insole that it came with, it's really hard and not comfortable. So I put in like a cushion, like memory foam and foam, changes the game. That was the Nike Air Jordan 1 Chicago's. But along the lines of that, I do want to show you another pair that I bought. And this is one that I've been looking for a while now. These are the Nike Air Jordan 1 1985 Neutral Gray Colorway. these up don't worry guys um you know when people say why do you have a pair of jordas in a glass box fuck that wear your shoes do what you have to do and just like love them white sneaker right i mean like it has that neutral gray tone on the check as well as you know on the ankle and the heel area and that cream sole that's been oxidized for years now i mean it has some creasings on the toe box but i don't mind that like shoes are meant to be worn right but obviously now that you guys know that the uniform code was like very strict in 1985s, um, Nike company thought, 
you know, why not make an Air Jordan 1 that can fit with any uniform that doesn't really break the rules of the uniform code. So they came up with the neutral gray tone. Unless you were the Celtics, you had to wear a sneaker that really went along the lines of the uniform code. I'm so happy I bought these because you know that I'm a sucker for Air Jordan 1s as well as white sneakers. So I'm very happy I got these. I think I'm gonna be wearing them a lot during the winter. I paid around, fuck, what did I pay? 600 for these and I think if you can find one um, in, this, in similar condition, uh, they go for well above like 900 grand so you know as new as you want to keep them the newer they are the crustier they are because the leather hasn't been treated for such a long time they'll kind of crumble and just like the midsoles will separate and shit so make sure you buy a worn in pair that's not too new but not too old as well um, it's gonna take some time there are some websites and forums that help you with that um, yeah I don't want to get too much into it so yeah. All right, so I guess this is my most sought after and most exciting pickup of this month. Actually, this year. I've been looking for this jacket for a minute now, and I couldn't find the, the cotton version of it. This is basically the Dries Van Noten Backzip Bomber, uh, infamously worn by ASAP Rocky in his LSD video, as well as a complex shopping video, I believe. But um, it's got this cool back zip detailing on it and it goes kind of all the way along to the other side uh, it comes in two materials I believe and they have like a couple iterations of it but this is like the most sought after one uh, this is the cotton this is the 100% cotton version but trust me like when you feel this in person it literally feels like suede it's definitely one of my big purchases so I don't think I'll be copying any more bomber jackets for a while and I could literally just be wearing a t-shirt and then throw this bomber on top of it and it'll get the job done You know you get a little toasty in there. So detailing is just insane. Obviously um, We re-zippers and it goes all the way along your back to your shoulders and then to the other side of the arm um, The fit I believe is a little bit oversized But I got an XL in it just because I do want to sometimes wear a hoodie underneath my jackets and you know um, it honestly worked out well. I thought it was gonna be way too big, so I kind of like chanced it. But I'm very happy with what I got, and yeah, man, that's like my big purchases of December. And I do want to show you guys more pickups, but honestly, that's what I've been picking up so far. Um, I did cop a couple beanies here and there. Actually, I'll just fucking show you right now. Hold up. Yeah, as you can see. I have a bunch of beanies just laying around. I'm a beanie fiend, man, like, I'm not gonna lie. I wear hats a lot just because my hairstyle is super boring. <laughs> but, you know, I used to wear a lot of Noah beanies. And for 30 bucks, you're getting what you pay for. But, you know, sometimes I do like going for the cheaper ones so you can kind of beat them up. And if, even if you lose them, you don't really worry about them. So I paid like $10 for this one. like. 12 bucks for this one. These are $30 and I'm wearing one right now. And I paid $5 for this one, man. Like, and it looks exactly the same, which is crazy. And the material is exactly the same too, 100% acrylic. So you don't have to spend too much on hats, man, to be honest. Remember, and I'm very happy with my purchases. I don't know if I'll be buying anything else for the rest of the month, but if I ever do, I'll definitely post a video about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. It just kind of shows me whether I'm progressing or not. So it really means a lot to me if you do like and subscribe. And also comment down below uh, what you guys want to watch next. You know, obviously doing doing this for so long, you kind of like run out of content ideas. And now I kind of understand like people doing clickbait videos because you actually do run out of ideas. <laughs> but yes, please make sure you keep up with my content. Thank you guys for sticking with me this far. Um, I hope you guys do for many more videos to come. Um, have a great day. Peace.